So this is my pneumatic can crusher. Uh, I've got an overall length from here to here is 20, 28 inches wide. And then the inside diameter is three and a quarter. And the throat here for the cans is eight inches. And then I have a slot down here that is uh, this distance here is one and a half inch slot. So the can crusher is mounted on a piece of plywood here. It's three quarter inch plywood. And then I use some maple hardwood that I had sitting around here. Uh, same goes for this block. It's a chunk of maple. So this cylinder came with a clevis on the end right here. So you could see I drilled a hole just big enough so I could pound that in there. But I cut the, the ears off on the clevis so it would sit flat or sit flush in there. And then you can see this side, I just put a washer on there. So I just tightened it up. There's the flat spot on the end there. You could see that I was able to put a wrench on it and just snug this block into place. And then back here, I did a bolt, a little carriage bolt on this block of wood. The only thing I'd do differently is I'd probably have this block of wood mounted here and then do another one over here and have a bolt that goes all the way through just for more support. Because over time, I, I have a feeling this is going to get loose and, and eventually break off. But it's a pretty simple, straightforward design. I've got my air regulator. It runs through here into the inlet side of the valve. And then you get your A and your B for the different directions. Works slick, and it was really easy to make. My son and I made it in less than an hour. We just whipped it together, and it is his favorite tool to use. nice and flat. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I like to post videos every few days of different tips and tricks and things I do around my homestead to make my life a little easier and also things I like to do in the shop to make life easier. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.